I think we're seeing a, a, a few interesting things. Obviously, there's the duopoly. Um, we're looking at a couple of big giants that keep taking greater and greater market share. Um, there are some threats to innovation that come from the duopoly, but um, there are also nice opportunities for things like attribution and measurement within each of their environments, so that's a good thing. Um, and we talk a lot about the open web um, and the open ecosystem, and a lot of companies that uh, were represented here at Videonomics uh, were uh, re representing the, the open internet, and that's also something we really value in kind of a different data environment for us. So I think for us, you know, we're looking, and of course Amazon, you know, as a as a rising third, third, uh, you know, uh, I guess constituent uh, within the you know the greater uh, ecosystem. So I think um, you know, whereas in the past we may have believed that uh, we can kind of bring all these groups together, I think we're now we're realizing that you know we've got walled gardens in some ways, we have attribution environments and the open internet that we can manage. But we're going to have to recognize that there are, we're going to be partitioned to a, a, a certain extent. One of the ways to look at walled gardens are um, kind of da contained data environments, and you know in some ways every brand is a walled garden you know there's first-party data that each one of our clients will never send out into the uh, to the ecosystem and you know, we live in where we work in an economy where data is the most valuable asset we all have um, so you know I think it's recognizing that there's just some certain data that's never going to come outside of the Facebook ecosystem the Google ecosystem the Amazon uh, uh, ecosystem uh, and you know rather than trying to try to fight against that, it's probably better to figure out within those ecosystems to continue to optimize and learn what works best, try new things out, uh, get good best practices, and probably a lot of ideas and insights that could be lifted out of one environment and placed into the other. Fundamentally, we're, we're all going to have to realize that we're in, a, in the middle or maybe at the very beginning of a sea change in a data environment. Um, you know, what we've viewed as a anonymized data ecosystem uh, is uh, in some ways really threatened by a lot of the privacy legislation. And a lot of things that we've seen as tried and true are probably going to change. Um, so uh, some companies are going to survive that change better than others. Um, but, you know, the reality is we're going to have uh, tighter data restrictions and what our uh, clients are going to be able to do with their data and allow us to execute on. Um, there's going to be tighter data restrictions uh, on the data we're capturing on our clients' websites when we're managing their websites, uh, and certainly a lot tighter data uh, restrictions on working with third parties. Um, so, you know, we're at the very beginning of it all, but the reality is le legislation is coming. It's coming this year, uh, and it's a hot button. Um, you know, when you have Amy Klobuchar, when you have Les Elizabeth Warren shouting about data rights and data protection as ma major campaign platforms, that tells you how uh, much of a hot button this is and how much it's resonating with people. 2019 is going to be a great time to accelerate learning as much as possible because we probably have more data right now to activate on for marketing experiments to get insights than we will have in 2020. Um, so uh, that's the first thing. Um, there are also going to be some restrictions that we're going to be able to activate on in 2020, but at least we'll have some data models from 2019 experiments that we can work off of. So that's the first thing. Get that testing and get those insights in now while we have a freer data environment. I think we're going to go through a lot of evolution. I think we're going to realize that with uh, different types of data that we can use, particularly third-party data, um, we're probably going to be looking at uh, contextual signals, uh, you know, partnering signals. Um, you know, one of the things that was brought up uh, this one of the uh, the last video on session uh, was uh, um, Amazon. I think it's something like a hundred percent branded partnership on Amazon Prime. Uh, content. Netflix, is it 70%? I think we have, we're still in the very early early days of brand integration uh, in, into content. So that's another area that's going to be really big uh, for investment. And if you're an Amazon or Netflix, I mean, they have a tremendous amount of data on their users. You know, from a data standpoint, I mean, Netflix ends up being an incredibly valuable partner on their own audiences and where brand integration should happen. Amazon it becomes an incredibly valuable partner by pu putting out original content and brand integration using data that they have.